coming to you as an Oreo cookie and I am the cream in the middle. But anyways, no, enough about that. We're going to talk about today's workout. So with today's workout, what we did, I call it the Chino State Method. I got this from a dude that used to work out with us um, back when I was in high school. I used to manage this hardcore gym. And there was a guy that had been to Chino State and he was the, the bouncer at the local strip club and come in and talk to me when I was in high school and obviously bring in, you know, nice looking women. Uh, so I enjoyed that part of talking to him, but then he also had some good train techniques. So we had this one, and that's why I, I don't know what he called it, but he called it the Chino State Method. And this is more than a tale of wine women. A song is a tale of how to, to gain more muscle. So we're using it for a hypertrophy method here today. So what you want to do is you want to find your eight rep max of a particular exercise. It doesn't have to be exact, but in that neighborhood. And what you're going to do is you go one rep, rest 30 seconds. Two reps, rest 30 seconds. Three reps, rest 30 seconds. Four reps, rest 30 seconds. Five reps, rest 30 seconds and back down. You go to four, three, two, and instead of doing one on the last one, if you got any gusto left, you hit that with an AMRAP, as many reps as possible as you can do there. Rep, rep, that's it. Rep, 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 rep. <clears throat> one, two, three. <sighs> Come on, let's go. Ah, come on. So we start off today with bench pressing, okay? Then we went on to a seal row, which is a chest supported row. Great exercise to build the upper back, save the lower back. Went on to that, to, uh, we wanted to try the new, um, I guess you call it pec deck machine here. I don't know what the hell you call it, but it worked. Great squeeze on it. They came out here to do some lat pull downs. So you gotta like, we talked a lot of times before about the paradigm shifting your your thought process. You can't always just think 1980s, muscle and fitness, orange tan, three sets of 10. Sometimes you gotta change it up a little bit. So what we're gonna do is sometimes do some lower reps. So throughout history, there's been some great bodybuilders and some people that aren't bodybuilders have a hell of a lot of muscle that have trained with, you know, multiple sets and lower reps. You know, Doug Hepburn, had he like cut down, would have had a lot of muscle. This is how he trained. You know, Chuck Sipes did low reps. You know, Reg Park, even Lee Priest and all these different bodybuilders over the years. Charles Poliquin's advocated this. I've done this a lot of the programs I've done. You do a lot of, you know, a lot of rep, a lot of sets, you know, fewer reps. You can gain muscle hypertrophy there because, you know, one of the main components of the argument against it's the metabolic stress argument. But when you do these like multiple type of sets like this, a very short rest, you get a great accumulation of metabolic stress because in the end of the game, when you add up the volume, you're getting more volume this day. So about all I have to say about that. So what do you guys think? Uh, the pump was amazing. One thing that I've been having to work around is this particular injury that I have and this really, really helped with that because we were able to really isolate the certain things like he mentioned when we used the seal row. That was a great, great, uh, great back exercise uh, that helped save the lower back, especially when you're doing a lot of compound movements like squats and other things in your, your opposite days. But that's a ton of volume and not very much time. You see people just dragging ass all the time because yeah. I remember one time they published a study saying you know, basically powerlifting bodybuilding training were pretty, you know, compatible for muscle hypertrophy. But what that study didn't, the part they failed to ignore was if you read the whole thing instead of just the abstract, the powerlifting workout took like a, you know, an hour and 15 minutes because it was volume match where the bodybuilding one took like 21 minutes. So this kind of gets that gap there of where you're kind of getting, you know, a little bit of both because you're still going fairly heavy, mm -hmm. but you're getting that way more volume in, a, in not that much time. That's how you approach this workout. Either do it or don't. It's balls out. That's it. That's it. I agree.